All right, I just want to make a quick video. I forgot to make this video a long time ago in regards to Les Miles being fired. Of course, he is fired by the numbers. I'll leave some links in the description, but what I talk about in these videos is how the Freemasons, the Zionist Jews, the elite people of the world, this is how they script the sports leagues, this is how they script our media, this is how they script the movies, this is how they script everything in our lives. So anyway, Les Miles, he gets fired two months and two days after the death of Sam Fultz and Mike Sadler. And in that car wreck, we also had Colby De La Husse, the LSU player, survive. And I've made a whole bunch of stuff. Like I said, if you check the description, I'll leave a link to a playlist in regards to the death of Sam Fultz and Mike Sadler and how it all ties in. It's a whole lot of information. But Les Miles gets fired two months and two days after that. He has a two and two record even. On ESPN.com, they even give us the video 202 video. And in numerology, you don't use the zero, a lot like 22. The guy that replaces him, Ed Orgeron Jr., I mean, when you write his name out in Gematria, 129. He becomes the coach, the interim coach, one month, 29 days after his 55th birthday. Les Miles got fired after having his 55th career college coaching loss. Les Miles also coached 197 college games, which is very interesting in regards to all of the 112 around him. I've talked about how Les Miles began this season with 112 wins. He It's LSU's 112th season. Last year, he even got his 112th win in the Texas Bowl that's held in Houston. And if you write out Houston, Houston equals 112 in Gematria. Even LSU was even ranked 22 going into that bowl game, right? So he gets fired, whatever, two months, two days after the death of Sam Fultz and Mike Sadler. He has a 2-2 two and two record. But... Prince died on the 112th day of the year. Prince the singer is what I'm talking about. He died on Queen Elizabeth's 90th birthday. The Simpsons killed Prince on 11-2, November 2nd, a lot like 112. And there's so much 112 this year, it's not even funny. You know, Steph Curry's real name, it equals 112. He got injured against Houston in the playoffs when the score was 56 to 56. That Total that up, it equals 112. Andre Iguodala also fell down. Andre Iguodala equals 112. Sandy Hook equals 112. 112 is the alternate dialing code for, so other countries use 112 as the emergency dialing code. We use 911. Other countries, they use 112. We're going into the 112th World Series, the Super Bowl this year coming up, Super Bowl 51. Is also held in Houston. And Houston equals 112. Anyway, moral of the story, Prince and Jewish Gematria equals 197. And Les Miles gets fired after coaching 197 overall games. What I find interesting in regards to the World Series is that he coached 148 games with LSU and he won 114. And these are both numbers I've talked about in regards to the Indians and the Cubs. Possibly nothing, but just want to talk about it and throw it out there. If you write out Cleveland Indians, it equals 148. I talked all about how the Chicago Cubs tied the Pittsburgh Pirates, and the same day they tied the Pittsburgh Pirates was the Hoboken train wreck. And Chris Christie, the governor of New Jersey, they made sure to let us know in the CNN article that he said 114 people were injured in that wreck. If the Cubs win the World Series, they'll have 114 wins on the season. Also, if you read out the word tie, tie equals 114. The same day that the Cubs tied the Pirates, the Indians also had that postponed game with the Detroit Tigers. 
the game that they never made up. And the Cubs and the Indians are both cursed in a roundabout way through Detroit. In Gematria, Pittsburgh Pirates equals 228. The Indians are cursed from Rocky Colavito, or the trade from Rocky Colavito, where they got Harvey Kuhn. And Harvey Kuhn was born on February 28th, or he died February 28th of 1988, which just so happens to be the same day as Aroldis Chapman's birthday. Aroldis Chapman was born on the same day that the guy who cursed the Cleveland Indians died or whatever. Sorry. And if you go from 228 to the day that the Cubs picked up, Chapman was 148 days. Cleveland Indians equals 148. And a whole lot more. I just wanted to point out the fact that Les Miles got fired and all the 112 around him were going into the 112th World Series. And then LSU's in its 112th season and he gets fired after coaching 148 games there, connecting to the Indians. He had 114 wins that I have been talking about that is in connection with the Cubs. Anyway, the car wreck where Colby De La Husse survived, Mike Sadler, Sam Fultz died, was 207 days after Les Miles got his 112th win. If you write out the words 207, it equals 197, just like Prince. And if you write out the word Charles, it equals 207. And that really stands out just for the fact that Prince Charles will become King Charles III if Queen Elizabeth dies. And I've just been talking about this for a while. Prince Charles was connected to every sporting event this year. He was connected to, you know, Alabama beating Clemson. Clemson connected to South Carolina. The Carolinas are named after King Charles. Then we had the Carolina Panthers lose in the Super Bowl. We had North Carolina lose in the college basketball championship. Then we had the Cleveland Cavaliers win the NBA Finals. A Cavalier is a follower of King Charles during the English Civil War. Then we had Coastal Carolina win the College World Series. So, you know, all of this stuff super important. Prince Charles' birthday even on 11 slash 14 which, you know, a stretch, but it kind of reminds me of 114. When I looked up the article in regards to Les Miles and LSU getting his 112th win last year, it showed the score of the game that he got his 112th win in, 19-7. to 7. I mean, are you kidding me? He gets his 112th win in a game that's in Houston that equals 112, and then they win 19-7. to 7. That's connected to Prince yet again. He gets fired after coaching 197 games. If you go from the day that the car accident happened with Kobe De La Husse to Prince Charles's birthday, a span of 114 days. And then, of course, Les Miles had 114 wins at LSU. He also got fired one month, 20 days before Prince Charles's birthday. If you write out his real name, Leslie Miles, it equals 120. It's also 50 days, and the day that he got fired had a date numerology of 50. 9, 25, 16, you add that up, 50. Interesting, too, if you write out September 25th, the day that he got fired, that's the day that leaves 97 days in the year. But if you write out September 25th, it also equals 97. And it also equals 259, which in other parts of the world, they'd even write the date 25 slash 9. So just an interesting date for future reference. Les, Les Miles in Jewish Gematria equals 269. And this year when he got fired on September 25th, it's, it was the 269th day of the year because of a leap year. I also thought it was interesting that he used to play for Michigan and he also coached Michigan, not head coach, but he coached Michigan and you know, Michigan, I've talked about all of this stuff going back to Teen Wolf and how it connects to the Nebraska Cornhuskers, you know, coach Mike Riley came from Oregon State in the movie Teen Wolf, 
They literally have a bunch of Nebraska Cornhusker stuff in the background. The movie's not set there. It doesn't take place there. The movie has the Civil War uh, themed play. And, you know, Lincoln, Nebraska, Abraham Lincoln, the Civil War. Also, the mascot in that movie is the Beavers, and it's supposedly based off of the Oregon State Beavers, where Mike Riley is really known for. And there's a whole bunch of stuff in regards to this. I'm telling you, I've made tons of videos. I'm not going to re-explain it, but it connects to the 2015 NBA All-Star Week, where we had the Teen Wolves, who won the MVP stuff. Zach Levine was a 19-year-old Minnesota Timberwolf, a Teen Wolf. He won the slam dunk contest. And he also did the Michael Jordan Space Jam dunk. Andrew Wiggins was also a Teen Wolf, and he won the MVP of the Rising Star Challenge. But Kevin Garnett was the original Teen Wolf, and he just retired. Then we get Les Miles being fired. He's connected to Michigan. Michigan's the Wolverines. It's all connected to this Roman festival called Lupercalia. And Rome, it's all based on the founding of Rome. Lupercalia is, is celebrated in honor of the she-wolf who supposedly suckled Romulus and Remus, who were the founders of Rome. And they founded Rome on April 21st, which is also the same day that Prince died. Anyway, in Gematria, Lupercalia equals 98, Jim Harbaugh equals 98, Tom Brady equals 98. He became the starter at Michigan in the year 98. Brady Bunch equals 98. Remember in the Super Bowl a few years back, they had the Steve Buscemi Brady Bunch commercial even when the Patriots won the Super Bowl. Brady Bunch equals 98. Snickers equals 98. Michigan Wolverines equals 98. If you write out 98, it equals 64, just like if you write out the word Michigan. And Les Miles got fired 64 days after that car wreck. Anyway, you know, I'm sorry. I just wanted to make a quick video, show some information. I didn't want to go in super depth with it, but, you know, I feel like Les Miles was super connected. I've talked about all of this stuff and how it's interrelated, which I will leave a link in the description. You know, it sounds crazy if you're new, but all of this stuff is super interrelated. There's just this big script that is manipulated by the Freemasons. And I was making my previous video, and I, for some reason I remembered Les Miles, and I re-looked it up, and I didn't even realize that he was connected to the Cleveland Indians through this number. I knew he was connected to Prince, but 114 wins also makes me wonder in regards to the Cubs. Leslie Miles, the small way, even equals 48. A big number I've been talking about in regards to the Cleveland Indians. They haven't won since the year 1948. But whatever, going to leave it at that. Just like I said, I wanted to make a quick video. Something I haven't talked about and I meant to talk about it months ago. Or whatever, whenever the story came out. September 25th, a month ago. But uh, have a good one.